good morning students we are going to continue with the 13th chapter the social and the i'm sorry religious and the social reforms okay the religious and the social reforms the indian renaissance before starting the chapter i want to tell you what is renaissance here indian you are knowing renaissance means rebirth rebirth here means not the rebirth of the human what were the cultures given by the vedas in the new way not having the uh, not believing in the superstitious belief but believing in the things in the new way is it clear now the need for the social and religious reforms that began in the manifest means clear itself from the early decades of the 19th century arose in the in response to the contact with the western culture and education so here the renaissance when it was needed when the indians came to a contact with the western culture and the education now the weakness and the decay of the indian society was evident evident to the indian educated indian who started to work systematically for the revival so the weakness and the decay of means what you think that the indian cultures were very much uh, good that time okay few were there but the do the whole just uh, we talked about the sati system the pardha system female infanticides do it was a good one no we can say that the society was having the not having the right the uh, uh, right things to apply okay so the educated indians they were knowing the the thing of the society and they started to work systematically for the revival for the rebirth for the in the new way they were no long willing to accept the tradition belief and practices of hindu society simply because they have been observed for centuries now people were not ready to to apply the things in the society because simply it was um, um, because it was uh, applied from a uh, centuries no now people started to question the impact of the western ideas gave birth to the new awakening the change that took place in the indian society scenario is popularly known as a renaissance is it clear now the raja ram mohan roy the se the central figure of this culture awake awakening was raja ram mohan roy okay known as a father of the indian renaissance he was known as a father of the indian renaissance clear Mo, uh, ram mohan roy was a great patriot scholar and the humanist he was moved by the deep love for the country and worked throughout the his life for the social religious intellectual and political regeneration of the indian okay now raja ram Raja Ram Mohan Roy was born in 1772 in the Radhanagar a small village in Bengal as a young man he was he had studied sanskrit literature and hindu philosophy in varanasi and persian arabic and korean in patna he was a great scholar who mastered several languages including english latin greek and hebrew these are the languages but students social reforms what were the steps taken by the uh, raja ram mohan roy roy in the society in 1814 raja ram mohan roy settled in kolkata and dedicated his life to cause of the social and religious reform as a social reform ram mohan roy fought ruthlessly against the social evil like sati polygamy child marriage female infanticides and the caste discrimination he organized a movement against the inhuman custom of sati and helped William Bentick to pass a law banning the evil practice in 1829 so here just you see the banning of the uh, sati was also one britishers was there okay and it was he was held by whom our indian raja ram mohan roy it was first successful successful social movement against the age old social evil now Raja Ram Mohan Roy was one of the earliest pro, uh, propagators of the modern vision, uh, western education he promoted he looked upon it was it as an a uh, major instrument for the spread of the modern ideas in a country he was associated with the foundation of his own cost i'm sorry he was associated with the foundation of the hindu college in kolkata he also maintained he also maintained at 
his own cost in english school in Kol kolkata in addition he established a uh, vedanta college where both in indian and the social i'm sorry western social and the physical science course were offered he sent petition to the government to adopt a wider system of public education in english next journalism raja ram mohan rai was a pioneer of indian journalism okay he himself published general in the bengali Beng bengali persian hindi and english to educate the public as a various current issue means he uh, it's a type of uh, short notes beta or the information the generals yeah, and it was done by the raja ram mohan rai to to inform to uh, make aware of the indian educated about the current issues okay samvad Kum, uh, kumudi was the kumudi was the first samvad kumudi was the first important general brought by him raja mohan rai ram mohan rai at uh, internationalism raja ram mohan rai was a firm believer of the interna internationalism he held that the suffering and the happiness of one nation should affect the rest of the world he took a keen interest in the international events and always supported the cause of liberty freedom means and the nationalism he celebrated the success of revolt in spain in 1823 by hosting a public hosting a public dinner now the religious reform raja ram mohan roy struggled persistently against the continuously against the social evil he argued that the ancient hindu texts the vedas and the upvedas upheld the doctrine of monotheism to prove his point he translated the vedas and the five upvedas into bengali in 1849 he wrote a gift of the monotheism in persian ram mohan roy was state stuck i'm sorry stretch a believer in the philosophy of the uh, vedanta Up Up upanishads and they vigorously defeat the hindu religious religion and the hindu philosophy from the attack of the missionaries he only wanted the mold mold hinduism into a new caste to suit the suit the requirement of the age in 1815 ram mohan of roy founded a new religious society known as amitya sabha along with a dwarkana dwarkana tagore and shiv prasad mishra in 1828 he established a brahmo samaj which which ultimately came to known as a i'm sorry brahmo sabha which was ultimately came to known as a brahmo samaj this religious society was based on the twin pillars of the rationalism and the philosophy of vedas the brahmo samaj emphasized human dignity means giving importance to the human criticized idolatry and the denounced the social evils like sati and the caste distinctions in 1830 raja ram mohan roy traveled to the britain as ambassador of the mughal emperor ashoka ii to ensure that the regulation of banning sati was not revoked he died of the meningitis in the uh, bristol uh, it's a bristol in uk in 1833 uh, raja ram mohan roy represent the first glimmering of the rise of national consci uh, consci consciousness in india he opposed the rigidity of the caste system because it destroyed the unity of country poet rabindranath tagore has rightly remarked raja ram mohan roy was the only person in the time in the whole world of men to realize completely at the significance of the modern age thank you